what is service design? Well, to me, it's um, it's something that has been around for quite a bit of time, actually. I think uh, service design was probably there uh, at the same time as we had the arts and crafts movement, maybe even before. Um, a, lot of this, a lot of the things that we have in our societies is actually, in some sense, uh, designed um, even long before the 19th, 20th century, right? So, um, and the idea that um, um, that it's new is kind of uh, that we re uh, found it again, right? We reinvented it. Um, and as we, with all design, um, everyone is doing it. Uh, we really can't avoid um, doing it because we have to, if we think of design as a social material practice, um, then of course anything that takes social material form has been designed. It might be bad design, it might be good design, it might have had a designer doing it, it might have had a non-designer doing it, it might have had a design process behind it, might have had an engineering process behind it, whatever. But it still ends up as something social material. So there is design. Uh, but more precisely, if we look at service and service design, um, service design is an co-creative aesthetic practice focusing on value and value creation and value creation that is that happens in collaboration between different people different interests different stakeholders different institutions different practices and often focusing on on both the experience during this uh, collaboration but also on the outcomes of that collaboration and maybe even the outcomes of the outcome and in in, um, as Thomas Edman um, is usually saying, is also that design is to be economic with human resources through doing this aesthetic practice. So as soon as you waste human resources um, by making people think when they shouldn't, and uh, making people get lost when they shouldn't, uh, that's actually not good design.